Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking. If everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes, remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, earlier I did a video where I was speaking about, I was giving my opinion on the upcoming season of Love of Mirror Tunsville. And doing so, Tisha, she was, her and Marcel was hosting an event and Tisha asked a question to the group if they all wanted to be a part of the comeback group again. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on, what? She can't be serious. Not Tisha, asking the woman, because Melody was there. She asking the woman with the black heart, dark soul, all of that, you know, all the mean things she said to her at the reunion. Not her wanting to do business with a woman she feels tried to ruin her marriage. Not the woman that she don't think her mom owes an apology. Not the woman that she feel goes back, um, goes tick for tap with her mom. Not the woman that she said she would, she had a came for her. She had to say something to her at Galentine. That's why she was, you know, dressed down in her, her shorts and her gym shoes because she was waiting on her. Not the woman that she feels can't be a good friend and can't be trusted. Not the woman that she felt was the reason the last comeback group was dissolved and messed up. I was like, dang, Tisha don't have no conscience. She don't have a heart at all. Because it looked like to me that she asked that question with a straight face. I'm like, really? She want Melody to be a part of her comeback group? Okay. Now, I wonder... Did her and Marceau ask her this because they know that she got her builder's license renewed this past December and they don't want to be in competition with her? They know that she well that she is well respected around the Huntsville area. So are they trying to get her help with SCOTE again and then, you know, possibly go behind her back and do some petty stuff after their company uh grows to whatever standard they're trying to get it to and they didn't already and they profit off of melody's knowledge is that the reason that they you know trying to ask her back into this comeback group is it because they can't get the big contracts because of they um lawsuits that they they pin the lawsuits is it because they know that whatever Melody is a part of, she going to make sure to see it through. And they possibly can sit back and let her do all the work like she um, was doing in the beginning of Scope. While Martell was in there before Martell was bought out. Now, I thought Mart Marceau was hooping and hollering about he having business sense and that's what he bring to the table. That's what he was saying at the reunion. And I thought Tisha was running multi-million dollar companies. So my question is, why not? Don't they have business, you know, don't they have several businesses already that they're running? How are they going to have time for a comeback group? I mean, you know, Tisha, she already stating that she have to have a bedroom calendar just to have relations with her husband. At this rate, <laughs> he may never get uh he may never get any from her. She already stated on that uh chemistry show that he talk a lot, but he ain't getting he ain't getting it like that. So I mean she add one more thing to her 
to her busy, already hectic life, you ain't gonna never get none. Because if she set that alarm any earlier just to get up at four or five o'clock in the morning to have relations, she ain't gonna get no sleep. And she definitely ain't gonna be able to run no businesses. Now, I wonder, did Carlos put the sky up to this comeback mess? Because it's just, you know, oddly convenient that, you know, after everybody say they want to see the Scots real lives, their real businesses, and, you know, they making it seem, you know, all while they filming that they got so much going on. And they might, I don't know, but I can't tell because the fakery be real. So my question is, did Carlos put the Scots up to the comeback mess? Because my thing is, they just going to continue to try to use Melody. And I hope Melody asked them, when they asked that question, I hope she her response was, do y'all know the meaning of never? I hope she said, my words at the reunion wasn't a joke. I don't move backwards. Melody is in a great space with her own businesses and she don't have time for uh, for that foolishness. They don't strike me as true business people. They don't. They just don't. Not to me. And I hope Melody don't help, don't support, and don't join nothing these wannabe bums have going on. Because if they had the blueprint, they wouldn't need her. And if they had a successful portfolio in doing big business, they would need they uh, they would need her and wouldn't look her way. Wasn't it Marso that made the um trying to make a funny or trying to make uh fun of Melody when Melody um stated that she had uh cried she you was. Speaking her truth, and she stated that she had she had cried or whatever. She didn't state in reference what she had cried about. She just stated that she cried. And Marshall gonna try to make a funny talking about if you lonely at the top, maybe you're not at the top or something like that. So I don't think that if they had it like they, you know, try to seem like they have it. They wouldn't even look Melody's way. So I think that they need her for her blueprint to make them uh, come up to standards that they try to prove to people that they are once again. And I hope she don't support them. I hope she just leave them where they stand in. I would have got up and walked out. Like what part of never didn't y'all understand? I believe that they need Melody to help them recover their losses from all the bad business deals, bad business decisions that they've been doing. Because it's only so long that they can drag out them um, court cases. And I say cases allegedly, because from what I hear is more than one court case that they, that they have pending. So I believe that they need Melody to um, help them recover so, uh, from some of them bad decisions that they that they made to try to get themselves out the negative and um, get it to, you know, and start making some money because it's only, like I say, it's only so long that you could drag them court cases out and not focus on paying whatever damages that come about from either of them court cases. And I'm going to say allegedly. And I know Melody is a great business person and wouldn't partner with any business without doing her research. And I definitely don't believe that Mar Melody will put her business at risk to save the Scots or Martell. And speaking of Martell, what role is he going to play in the comeback group? He not partnered with Melody anymore. He don't have any startup money to invest. And he going to tell all the secrets or 
all the information, all the business decisions that they discuss uh, from their meetings to AC. So either we're going to hear them out lot, um, on social media and, or either the competitors and the competitors going to have uh, Melody's whole blueprint because we all know that it's going to only be Melody speaking and doing all the work if they get together. I know she's not, but, you know, it's just my opinion. So my question is, what is Martel's role? I, I just, I'm just curious to know. AC, if they do get together, AC going to be pulling up at the job sites with Lil Knox trying to start trouble just because she can and, and because she, um, she going to, Try to fake a reason. A reason. He needs some pull-ups. I need money for for some oatmeal. I need money for Trader Joe's. Anything, any little excuse she can, she can think of to pull up at any of the job sites, just so she can try to get in on the scene or let everybody know that she has you know that that she's around so that's gonna be a bad decision or that's gonna you know mess up the business again because ac don't have no restraint they arguing at the at the job site so that's gonna make them lose business because you can't get it you can't get the business done on time marceau already proved he can't be held to um, different contracts and deadlines because he got to go to Africa because he get overwhelmed. Martel can't be held to any deadlines because he got to go run back to Atlanta and run between AC House in Atlanta and who knows when he going to be in his right mind to get to work. So I'm just curious to know what what they what type of duties is Martel going to hold in all of this? What are they thinking? Because he don't have no money for no startup, and I'm, I don't believe that um, the Scots 1.0 or 2.0 have startup funds either. That's why they need Melody because Tisha she probably can't get no more loans. In her name, they probably like, no, we, we can't, you know, loans denied and you already got a million dollar loan over here. You got a loan from over here. You got PPP loans over here, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. So until that the lawsuits are cleared up and some of these loans are paid back, Tisha probably can't get no more loans and Kimmy probably the um don't have enough to get the kind of loan that they her credit is probably good but not good enough to get the type of loan that they need for their business on her own and even her and tisha going together is probably probably not strong enough because of the scott's 1.0 lawsuits allegedly and that house is what are you doing with it? You still kicking rocks? And I wonder if Melody was to go into business with them. So that means that Melody would have to get the loans all by herself? Hmm. No wonder y'all um, need her to get in y'all comeback group. And I hope she just told y'all that, um, no. Kick, kick rocks. What part of never don't y'all understand? It's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.